go over what we're going to do today. We're going to start with a kettlebell rack carry. We're going to do eight reps on each side. So I'm going to hold the kettlebell in the rack position, elbows tucked against the ribs, knuckles facing the ceiling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive my right foot into the ground, raise my left leg up, Oop, vice versa, I'm sorry. Left leg goes in the ground, right leg goes up, drive it down. We're going to do eight reps here. And if you wanted to make it a little bit more progressive, you can go four steps, then switch four steps on the other side. That way you can get a little bit more active with that. But that four count is going to be one, two, three, four, then you'll switch sides and then repeat. And in order to make this a little bit more difficult, you can go overhead. Otherwise, you can go into a suitcase position as well to make it a little bit less challenging from that rack. So again, eight steps on each side. You can stay stationary or you can be active. Afterward, half kneeling Gandalf cards. We will be bringing back the dowels. So with those, we're using the dowel to press into the ground to keep a little bit more stable. From there, my hand, my thumb raises up towards the ceiling. I reach as far back as I can. My palm turns away from me. I reach back all the way through. So my palm's facing inward. I turn that palm away, reach back. We're gonna do that three times and then reverse. So the bottom of my hand goes behind. I turn my palm away and rotate through. So three circles each direction. As soon as you're done there, we have a 90-90 with internal rotation. You might find hips and glutes cramping up a little bit just to be uh, weary here. So we're gonna go into that 90-90 position. What I want us to do is we're gonna grab the ankle or the heel and turn it inward or up as far as we can. So we're gonna drive up, just hold for a brief moment, slow and controlled back down. So again, I'm nice and tall have my chest in line with my thigh and I'm pulling my foot upward. Again, you might feel some cramping sensation going on there so you can shorten up that lever and that'll help out. Or I might bring out a mini <laughs> band, see how that feels. And with those, we're gonna do four reps on each side. Afterwards, we are gonna move into a step back deadlift. We're gonna do six to eight reps on each side. You can start in a kickstand position where you have your toe, your big toe in line with your heel. Bend that knee, reach those hips back and stand tall. Otherwise you can go into a step back position where you're reaching those hips back, keeping tall and tight. Or you can go into a full single leg motion in itself. Ooh, just don't fall over like I did. Uh, just allow that self, yourself to bend that knee, reach those hips back, keep that back straight six to eight reps on each side. Lastly, we have push-ups. So we can use those boxes at any height uh, to get ourselves ready. We're gonna have our hands underneath our shoulders, the box in between our hands. We're gonna pull ourselves down, press back up. So again, we can go as far down as we can with those boxes. Otherwise, uh, we need uh, another variation. We can go ahead and play around with the TRX. Or if you want to make it even more challenging, you can put your feet on the box. <laughs> Lots of options. Holy shit, who wants to make push-ups even harder? Uh, let's go ahead and grab our kettlebells and we'll get started with those carries. 